the Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Well, as you can see, it's a central London. It's a beautiful day. Chris, we're just about to cross over to Surrey Keys. We've got a wonderful yacht here. I think it's about to overbalance. I must get over there quickly before it happens. You, ladies and gentlemen, you can't miss this. Oh, damn it. He's got back in the boat. Have a look at this. There you are. Take a look behind me. You can see yourself. What a gorgeous sight. You wouldn't believe it's the end of January. It's winter in Great Britain, London. But anyway, anyway, on to the shops. Been a strange week. Had a few auditions. Not unlike, oh my goodness, look at the number of seagulls behind me. You think we were in South End Beach or something, but we're not. Right, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Ah, had a number of auditions this week. Been a good week. On Monday, went for an audition for a commercial. A casting director called me and as always, sat there, he said to me, when was your last job? I was happy to tell him it was quite recent. <laughs> that spurred him on to actually offer me a bigger role to read within the commercial. I was very happy. It's true what they say. When the ball starts rolling, it really starts rolling. Anyway, I read for the part. I heard from them yesterday. He said, I'm shortlisting you. I want you to come back on Monday next week. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens there, shall we? Before I go, have another look at this wonderful look. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Now, when we get to the shop, I'll see if I can introduce you to some friends. If they're there, if they'll allow it, God willing. But if they don't, <laughs> don't say I didn't try. <laughs> anyway, right now we're on our way to Bloody Shop and we'll see what happens when we Bloody get there. Don't laugh. This is on a Saturday. A Saturday! Jesus! Let's see what happens. Right now I'm walking down one of the aisles. Look at this. <laughs> this is Great Britain! <laughs> we are. Let's see if I can find a friend of mine. Well, guys, I think we're going to be out of luck. He's not here, so we'll wrap that one up. Annie, say hello to the camera. Annie Shy. <laughs> this is my friend Amy. Yeah. <laughs> this is Annie's sister. This is what they look like. Congratulations, you won this week. Now look at that. The Hollywood Bowl? How many Hollywood Bowls are there in this damn world? The Hollywood Bowl? This is not America. Whoops! Isn't that what David Bowie said? <laughs> anyway, here's hoping I get that damn recall on Monday. There you are. The Hollywood Bowl. Oh, by the way, I should have also told you that I've got an audition coming up for a circus. A circus? A circus? I see you ask yourself. My whole life's a circus. They got the word circus right. Yes, that explains poor innocence life. One big circus. But am I having a ball? <laughs> of course I am. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go this way. You've got behind me once we get past. Oh, took a young lady to this wonderful restaurant once. It's a burger restaurant. Well, I tell you what, it worked out because afterwards it was flaming hot between me and the young lady. So, ha <laughs> Well done. Thank you very much, guys, for what you did. Here we are, the odious and fanatical about film. Fanatical about film? Well, why on earth haven't I got a film job? Ha <laughs> ha! We shall see. All in good time. All in good time, I hear you say. Anyway, that's it for this week's episode of The Pearl Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. And don't forget, I'm not a pheasant plucker. I'm a pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. By the way, guys, Mary had a little lamb, she thought it was so silly. She threw it up in bloody air and caught it by as Willie was a sheepdog, sitting on the grass. Along came a bumblebee and stung it up the ask no questions, tell no lies. Ever seen a carper doing up its flies are a nuisance. Bees are worse, man. That's the end of my little verse. Bye-bye.